Hi friends, I am Kritzi and I am a international boudoir photographer. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't worry, so am I. <laughs> this is actually just my second video. So I am working on getting better, so I hope you will um, give me a little slack for the mishaps that's going to happen throughout this video. So anyway, let's get started. Today I want to share with you 10 tips on how to eliminate so much work in Photoshop before you even shoot your session. So here goes. Basically what you want to do is, first of all, you want to ask your clients to come to their shoot wearing loose clothing. And the reason why you do this is it's going to eliminate a lot of those marks that they're going to have on them. I will even ask my clients to take their bra off when they get there just to eliminate like too many like marks on them <laughs> when they're sitting there getting their hair and makeup done. I ask them not to wear yoga pants or even um, joggers just because sometimes those can be really tight. Yoga pants actually can even leave a little stripe down the middle of the inside of their leg that a lot of people don't realize. They just think they're cozy pants and that they're loose enough, but a lot of times they're not. So definitely ask them maybe to wear like a long dress that is really loose. And then when they arrive to their session, you can always check out what they're wearing and then have them change into something a little looser, like maybe have a robe on hand or ask them to bring a robe to put on while they have their hair and makeup done. So tip number two is to ask your clients to try on all of their lingerie before their shoot. So basically they're going to try everything on before they even arrive. And the reason why that you want them to do this is because if they're like me, <laughs> they may have stuff that was from like college that is still in their lingerie drawer. So definitely have them try it on because some items may not fit them anymore. It may be too big or too loose. You just never know. So you definitely want them to have things that fit nicely. It's just so hard to Photoshop fabric and to make it look nice. And if it's too big, then it's going to not make them look as sexy in the photos. So definitely have them try everything on before they come to their shoot. So tip number three, um, I always shoot the most complicated outfit last. And the reason why I do that is because the most complicated things usually leave marks on their skin. So I want to do that last just because if they have like the thigh highs that have the sticky stay ups, then those leave marks on them and they're just a disaster to have to Photoshop that later. So if you do that last, then you don't have to worry about retouching that to begin with. So, so definitely try to do the most complicated, strappy, crazy stuff last. Uh, tip number four is to do the close up body shots first. So I used to just do those randomly throughout, but then I started to realize with them rolling around in the bed and doing different poses, like even sitting on their bum, they're getting these marks on them that can last for quite a bit of the session. So it's better to do your close up detail shots when they first jump into getting into the poses. So that way you can knock those out and you don't have to worry about them already having some little indentions or marks on their skin from rolling around in the bed while they're doing other poses or even sitting in a chair or any of that stuff. Okay, tip number five. If you wonder what I'm looking at, I actually <laughs> wrote them down so I could see because I couldn't remember them all off, all off the top of my head. So I have them written down right in front of me. So that's what I'm, why I keep looking down. So Tip number five, turn up the temperature. I know, gosh, it sucks to shoot while you're hot, but this definitely is going to make your clients feel more comfortable when they're in their skivvies and you're not, unless you want to shoot in lingerie too, but definitely turn up the temperature. That way you don't have to worry about them having goosebumps and trying to Photoshop that out later. Trust me, it's, it's a nightmare and it sucks. And plus you don't want your clients to be cold. So number six, Look for details, and what I mean by that is a twisted strap or 
um, lingerie that's not laying correctly or it looks funny, hair that is going across a certain area that might be tricky to Photoshop later, definitely look for those details in advance. And I am definitely guilty of missing things and not seeing it until after. So if, if your hair and makeup artist stays throughout your shoot, have them help you. Like they can even look and make sure that the details are perfect. I've definitely gotten better with this over time. I always try to look now just because I don't want to have to take care of it later. So look for the details. Number seven, ask clients to cut out the labels and the tags out of their lingerie. So especially if they're wearing lacy stuff or see-through things, you definitely want to make sure they cut out those labels just because that's a nightmare to Photoshop later. So just cut them out or even bring a pair of scissors, have those on hand and ask them if it's okay if you cut them out. Some people may not want to cut out some brand names just because it's, if it's luxury lingerie, they may not want to cut that out and that's totally fine because then they probably want for it to show in the photos. <laughs> but if it's brands that they don't care about, definitely cut those out. So number eight. Ask your clients to drink lots of water before their shoot. And the reason this is, is it makes their skin look so much nicer and it actually eliminates if they have baggy eyes or bags under their eyes, it can take some of that away. If their face is a little puffy, it can take that away. I ask my clients to start drinking a lot of water at least a week pre-session and it really does help. It makes their skin look really nice too. Number nine, um, remind your clients to get mani-pedis. I know that seems so obvious and definitely most clients do this, but it's such a nightmare when you have one or two clients show up and their nails are not done and they want you to Photoshop them later. It's just, that's a lot of work. So definitely ask them to have this done in advance. And number 10 is ask them to bring heels that do not have scuffed up bottoms. So this is really important, especially if you do poses that you're showing off the bottom of their heels or like they're doing a pose that shows the bottom of their heels. You don't want to have to retouch that later. So ask them to bring heels that are new or that look fairly new or if they have um, also stickers on the bottom, ask them to scrape them off before they come to their shoot. So basically that is my 10 tips to not having to Photoshop so much in pre-session. So it helps you be able to put your photos in and not have to do so much work. So anyway, I am so happy that you guys stopped in to see my second video. I hope it wasn't too bad. I'm working on making these better. So I hope that you'll come back and see me again. Hit the subscribe button or you can follow me on Instagram. But any, either way, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.